What's good people, it's Chunkle, and today I have a wicked trio of clips for you peeps. This first clip takes place right outside Porumbar's cabin. It's an animal that I've had my eyes on for a pretty long time at this point. You may also notice what I can only assume to be his brother also standing right in front of me looking like a total stud. I recall first actually noticing them when they were both three star adults and Ever since then, I've been keeping a very close eye on both of these rams. And considering how much I like the Mouflon in this game and how badly I wanted a 5 star, it was actually a really fun process watching these two grow. Of course, the cherry on top being the heavy rain, which is honestly just perfect in this game. I guess my one complaint that isn't even really an actual complaint would be that uh, the double lung drop shots are kind of inconsistent. As in, they happen probably more often than they should. But it makes for a great slow motion shot, and the mouflon look great, so I'm not really complaining. This next clip, once again, takes place right outside a lodge, and once again, is an animal that I've been really wanting a 5 star of for quite some time now. However, unlike the first one, there just wasn't that much premeditation to this, aside from me seeing him as a 4 star a couple days before this. The shot felt perfect at first, but he ran a very, very far distance, and so honestly I wasn't sure. However, this was probably due to the 7 mil, which me choosing to carry over the 308 is really relevant to the next clip, actually. And if there was any doubt, I think this more than proves that the 7mm is just not the best on pigs. It's not terrible either, but it definitely didn't take him down terribly quick. And I'm sure you guys are about ready to tell me to shut the fuck up about how good the models look, but I just can't, honestly. I mean, goddamn. It's just getting to the point where these models look like exact replicas of the real animal. And would you believe that this clip, too, takes place right outside a cabin? I know, truly groundbreaking. I like how here you can tell exactly when I processed that it was a 5 star, because I had also had no idea that this guy was here beforehand. And here is where the 7mm becomes useful. It can date down most of the animals at the 308 can, so I can still use it on other game, but it has a fair bit less energy, just enough so that at about 220 meters you can shoot a roe deer without losing the hunt rating, which would be impossible with the 308 excluding like a 500 meter shot. Which is also why you see me backing up from what seems to be a very clear and obvious shot. And now we got yet another stud for the trophy room with this giant and beautiful buck. I also really like those hook tines he's got at the top. I personally have never seen a roe deer that got that big or crazy as far as the tine goes. However, it's definitely not far-fetched. It 
And here's a little bonus clip of me comparing my 478 to my 466. And that's the video. If there's anything you guys would like to see, please leave it in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. With that being said, that's about it. See ya.